Okay, uh, we're in Puerto Vallarta once again, and we have Dr. Thornton Streeter. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with him, he's actually travelled, I believe, three times around the globe to actually join us uh, here in Puerto Vallarta. Five planes. Was it, was it five planes? And uh, how many hours was that? 36, probably. I certainly hope it was worth it. Uh, Dr. Streeter, thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Now, you're going to be speaking tomorrow, I believe. Yep. Uh, could you give us maybe a, just a, a, like a brief overview on uh, what you're going to be speaking? Well, <clears throat> that is a good question, especially for three minutes, but um, I'll try. My main focus is um, really nailing down a framework for understanding the anatomy and physiology of the human being as opposed to the human body. So I've um, developed... Uh, gathered together an array of different devices which we've calibrated with accepted devices um, and these monitor the human being in a number of different ways so we're looking at uh, things as, as wide-ranging as heart rate variability and biophotonic emissions um, and what's interesting is in our research we've identified that some of the uh, traditions in um, uh, holistic health, natural medicine, have um, anatomical significance. For example, we talk about the chakra system, we talk about the meridian system. My institute really has nailed down really a, a, a full understanding of, of, of these uh, processes, these anatomical features and uh, so part of my work is sharing this understanding with other groups and also um, uh, building up a, a, a wider range of devices for um, investigating. So to a certain extent we now test devices, something like your life system. I've uh, done a study with and um, it's proved to have some relevance and uh, so I'll be presenting some data. Um, a lot of before and after uh, results with single sessions with the live system. The good thing about single session uh, research is that you don't have to worry about um, you know, other factors. You know, there either is an improvement or there isn't. If you do a study over a period of months, it could be something else. So we're looking at initial responses with the live system, with our array of different devices. And uh, as you'll see, there's some, some really quite impressive changes that are taking place just after an hour or two hour sessions. Wonderful, thank you. And I, w I guess one big question, could you tell us a bit about uh, the work that you've been doing in India? Well, my institute's in India for several reasons. Um, is a very high caliber of scientists, they're very open-minded. Uh, I spend quite a lot of time banging my head against walls in England, uh, trying to get into universities to uh, do some science, and yet there was so much prejudice. I was quite disillusioned for a while. The same universities that I spent huge amounts of time and effort just getting my foot in the door to give a lecture, now invite me every year to come and speak to their students. So there has been a, a wind change, but I'm so sold now on the quality of work that we're doing in India and how far our research buck stretches that um, we're just strengthening our team. We've got such a wide array of different people working with us, from homeopathic doctors to pranic healers to allopathic doctors and professors of anatomy and physiology that um, you know, we're really getting the proper intuitive approach set out for our research, and it's very exciting. Wonderful. Now, um, on a very important note, I believe you actually did some life-saving work about half an hour ago, and that was uh, releasing some turtles into the ocean. <laughs> well, I was doing some Reiki in the bucket. <laughs> these poor little creatures. But I don't think I did very well. Well, you know what? Uh, the good news is, I'd say probably about 200 to 300 turtles were safely released into the ocean, but... How many of them survived, who knows. Either way, I guess it always goes back to the environment because I guess some fish got some really good meals tonight as well. Yeah. Anyway, Dr. Streeter, thank you very much and hope you enjoy your stuff. More later.